Today we're going to see a demo between ServiceNow and VSDS. In our wider integration landscape, we're going to be focusing on those two endpoints. And specifically, we're going to be looking at um, our incident tickets in ServiceNow um, becoming bugs and user stories in VSDS. Specifically, we're going to go through a triage process where certain incidents will be triaged as bugs so they will be sent over to VSTS as defects or bugs, and certain incidents will be triaged as change requests, therefore sent over as user stories. We will also see various attributes flowing back to ServiceNow for information as status, target release, um, etc. And for more additional communication options, we're going to see comments and attachments flowing both ways. That just gives you more flexibility and more options for communicating between your teams. So let's get to it. Here on the left, we have our ServiceNow instance, and on the right is our VSDS backlog, um, or it could also be our TFS backlog. And what we're going to do as the first step is we're going to go ahead and create a couple sample incidents on our ServiceNow side so that we can do the triage process and send them over to VSDS as either user stories or bugs. But our first step is to create those two sample incidents. So at this point we have a list of incidents uh, but the, the integration has not yet run and it has not picked these incidents up. And the trigger or the logic that we're using in this case is this category field. And the category field is going to be the one that's going to um, deem an incident either a defect or a change request. This is to allow your service disk team a little bit of control over what gets sent to development. And we will have the capability of deeming something a defect, a change request, or invalid. And for the sake of today's demo, we're just going to deem one of them a defect and one of them a change request. So we so bo see both types being created. So now if we go over to our VSTS backlog and we refresh this site, we can see that both of our incidents have been created, one as a bug, the other one as a user story. And if we actually step back into ServiceNow for a little bit before we move on to our development activities, we can see if we refresh the list on ServiceNow side, we can see that two things have been submitted on this side as well. The development status has been communicated back over to our service desk team, as well as what I like to call a backlink. And all that is is a clickable URL link that guides you or directs you straight to the synchronized work item in your VSTS backlog. This is just to help you navigate between the two sides in case you truly need to jump into VSTS and find the appropriate artifact. So as the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pick up that bug and going to start work on it as a developer. And we're going to set it inactive since we are looking at it. We're going to submit it to July release. We're going to say it's going to get finished then. And the third thing we'll do is we'll add a question to our service desk team asking for a little more information since just the title is not enough. So now if we move into ServiceNow and refresh the list on ServiceNow side, we can see that two things have been updated. One, the development status has been updated and set to active to let our uh, service desk team know that develop, development developers are actively looking at this ticket. And two, we can see that the target release has also been synced back over. This is to let your service desk team know when we're planning on releasing a fix for this. And while these are just the two pieces that we're looking at now, there could be various other attributes that you're synchronizing back and forth. Um, you are capable of um, utilizing any out-of-the-box system fields or any custom fields you create in either of the sides. And one more thing that we did is we added that comment for our service desk team and that's been synced back over as a work note to ServiceNow. And to help out our development team is we're going to add um, 
reply to this comment, to this work note, and we're going to say, hey, we've added a screenshot, so please refer to the screenshot, and um, that will probably help out with, with understanding what's really going on. So if we move back over to our VSTS backlog and refresh to get all the latest data and we open up that bug that we've been working on, there's a couple of things that have been added to our bug. Um, first, we can see that that comment has been created and we can see that um, we're, we're being referred to a screenshot. So under attachments, we can also see the screenshot that's being synced over. So for the sake of completing the full loop, we're going to set the development status to resolve just to make sure to let our service desk team know that this ticket has been resolved. And if we look at our ServiceNow list and refresh the list here, then we can see that that status has been synced over. So that gives you a general overview of the integration between ServiceNow and TFS and a sample use case between the two. For more information, please visit tastop.com.